What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So the cryptocurrency market is moving in a weird direction today, right? This is not a just cryptocurrency market video. We're talking about Ethereum because I have invested in Ethereum. Um, I have 2.15 Ethereum and it's growing. Obviously, I'm gaining, um, you know, an APY over on Coinbase. But I decided to invest into it because I believed in where it was and where it's going to be, you know, especially back uh, back to the, some of these these high points. Um, so I wanted to talk about Ethereum, where it is, um, it's moving, um, going through Twitter as well, and uh, just kind of talk about the overall market as well, but mainly focusing on Ethereum. So guys, if you want to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, definitely go ahead and follow me on Twitter at Perry AK. You can follow me there and, uh, you know, get some updates and stuff, especially when it comes to Terra Luna Classic. We have a lot of information, a lot of news um, related to that. Um, also, if you guys want to follow uh, my Patreon, link is in the description for that as well. But let's talk about Ethereum. If you didn't know, Ethereum did a merge uh, recently in September uh, to where a lot of people thought that the um, the position or the project and the price was going to run to ridiculously high figures, right? Seeing it at, you know, maybe a 4,000 or 5,000 price point, but we're not really in a bullish market, so it doesn't make sense why it would make that move. With the move to proof of stake, it obviously uh, changes some some big things about it. Um, one thing, having a, a ton of miners is not going to be a thing um, to where there's so much energy consumption um, that's not happening. Well, now we have a proof of stake consensus, which is just way more energy efficient. Um, and, uh, you know, it's going to reduce 99.9%. Um, <clears throat> and that's fantastic. I'm not talking about the price. I'm talking about energy consumption. Um, so, I'm a fan of that, right? And we all thought it was going to run. It didn't end up running anywhere, not yet. Um, but today, it's actually making a little bit of a move. Now, I did invest into this previously. I bought in at one thousand two hundred and like forty dollars or so, <clears throat> and um, or it might have been one thousand two hundred seventy. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I did invest lower, well, way lower than where it is right now. Um, but we're seeing it actually move in a decent uh, direction after sort of being down for everything in the market, we're seeing the entire market look like it's up. So let me go and show you what the entire market looks like. <clears throat> if we look at the market, we're up about 4.79%. If you look at Ethereum, or you look at Bitcoin's dominance, you're going to see 39.54% uh, decreasing by 0.31%. Obviously, Ethereum is a big part of that seeing that large increase because those are one and two those are always competing for that spot people believe that the flipping is going to happen they believe that you know some people believe that bitcoin will always remain king and if you didn't know bitcoin has been losing dominance since obviously all of these altcoins have come on and has had strength within the markets and making the markets a lot stronger now um, is it decreasing in price? No, it's just losing its dominance, basically saying that other things are starting to gain a lot more in the form of billions of dollars worth of a market cap, uh, whether you're looking at Ethereum or BNB or even Terra Luna Classic, right? So many different options that are up and coming and, you know, uh, just adding to the field, right? Even something like Aptos, you see here, that's a $1 billion market cap. So that's adding another billion dollars on top of it. Even though uh, Bitcoin is up in this level of 385 billion and Ethereum's at 180 billion, you can see other things that are starting to capture more billions worth of a market cap. And some, like BNB, actually surpassed the 100 billion mark. So Ethereum, right? This is what we're here to talk about. It's not Bitcoin, not anything else, but Ethereum. It's at $1,504.16. The last time I looked at this, it was at $1,470. So now it's $30 of an increase from where I just looked at it like two minutes ago. So the fact that it's up this high and it's up 12% in the last 24 hours, 15% in the last seven days, things are looking absolutely amazing, especially for the people that decided to buy when I decided to buy. You know, I bought... I wanted to buy at eight hundred dollars. It was like eight hundred or nine hundred dollars, um, but didn't have the capital to buy then. Um, but I was able to buy at one thousand two hundred plus dollars, and I'm happy about that move because now that it's up here at one thousand five hundred, obviously I'm I'm 
close to $250 up, $200 plus up right now um, just on those two Ethereum that I ended up buying. And I would have bought more if it would have come down to 1000 which a lot of people believe that it could still do. But where we're standing right now, 1,499, as you can see, it changed um, up 12%. That's absolutely huge. It's a big deal um, that I can even see this because, again, the, every Ethereum that you have, every single one Ethereum that you have has just gained um, 100 plus dollars in the last day. Now, um, we can see the market cap is at $184 billion, which we've seen this up in like the 400 or $500 billion range if we go back to all and we go to market cap. We're going to see it at that $500 billion, well over $500 billion of a mark. And if we go back to price, we're going to see this was really approaching that $5,000 mark. So imagine what you can gain by holding one Ethereum um, throughout that whole entire time. Now, this is not saying that you physically need to go out and buy Ethereum right now because it is up a massive amount. I never buy on green days. That's just not my mindset. If I buy on green days, then you end up losing Um a majority of the time, I can't say a certain percentage, but majority of the time, let's say it's got to be 70 to 80% of the time you're going to lose because you're buying on these green days, these aggressive days. Um, and it may end up pulling back, which most cases it does. Um, <clears throat> But currently, you could see the volume is up 38% at uh, about $20 billion in the last 24 hours, which I would love to see $20 billion in any cryptocurrency. Um, but Ethereum, that still seems to be a little low compared to what they're used to, where you see, you know, multiple tens of billions of dollars that are flowing through this position because of how big it is, you know, um, I believe the flipping will happen. I believe we will see Ethereum overtake Bitcoin, but that's physically, that's just my opinion there. Now, um, what's my expectation for where it is? I expect to get back to this $500 mark, but I, or $5,000 mark, but I expect so much more than just that. Because right here, you can see it at about $2,000. It decreased a hell of a lot um, in um uh, what is that? April of 2022 decreased a hell of a lot. You saw a drop down and by uh, June, it was at a pretty low point being down here at about a thousand dollars or actually even lower than that. I believe the low was like 800 something dollars. So if we look at the last year, eight hundred ninety six dollars. So um, it definitely has a lot of potential from here on out, especially with the move from proof of uh, to proof of stake, um, meaning that, you know, we can see coins that are burnt rather than minted. Um, that's a, a uh, amazing concept for me, at least, because I love seeing coins uh, supply decrease and then seeing the price get more valuable. Now, uh, how much is going to end up burning in in a, a given period of time, maybe a month or so? Who knows? But anything is better than nothing. And if we're not seeing more that's minted, I will take that any day of the week. But anyways, that's where Ethereum is. I know that it's it's moving. It's at two, It's at uh, $1,495. It's up about uh, 12%. And um, I'm just waiting for it to push back to some of these highs to recapture my initial investment and then hopefully run with whatever Ethereum is left on the table. So anyways, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for more of these videos. I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.